In the early hours of June 30th, 1908, a mysterious and monumental event unfolded in the remote Siberian wilderness near the Podkamenea Tunguska River. This event, known as the Tunguska Event or the Tunguska Incident, was characterized by an explosion of immense magnitude, estimated to be around 12 megatons. The blast was so powerful that it flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers, creating a scene of utter devastation. The morning was like any other in the sparsely populated East Siberian taiga until, without warning, the sky was torn asunder. Eyewitnesses reported seeing a bluish light, almost as bright as the sun, streaking across the sky. This asteroid moved at a tremendous speed, leaving a thin glowing trail in its wake. As it neared the horizon, it transformed into a massive fireball, emitting a light so intense that it bathed the surrounding landscape in a surreal reddish glow. The serenity of the Siberian morning was shattered by a deafening explosion. The force of the blast was so immense that it produced a shockwave that knocked people off their feet and broke windows hundreds of kilometers away. The ground trembled and the air was filled with sounds of what many described as artillery fire. The Tunguska event is the largest impact on Earth since records began. Despite its magnitude, the event occurred over a sparsely populated area which limited human casualties. Eyewitness reports suggest that at least three people may have died as a result of the explosion. The explosion is generally attributed to a meteor airburst, the atmospheric explosion of a stony asteroid about 50 to 60 meters in size. The asteroid approached from the east-southeast at a high speed of 27 kilometers per second. The explosion registered at seismic stations across Eurasia, and airwaves from the blast were detected as far away as Germany, Denmark, Croatia, the United Kingdom, the Dutch East Indies, and even Washington DC. In the days following the event, night skies in Asia and Europe were aglow, likely due to light passing through high-altitude ice particles formed by the explosion. There were several testimonies from people who claimed to have witnessed the event. At breakfast time, I was sitting by the house at Vanavara Trading Post, approximately 65 kilometers or 40 miles south of the explosion facing north. I suddenly saw that directly to the north, over on Kors Tunguska Road, the sky split in two, and fire appeared high and wide over the forest. The split in the sky grew larger, and the entire northern side was covered with fire. At that moment, I became so hot that I couldn't bear it as if my shirt was on fire. From the northern side where the fire was came strong heat. I wanted to tear off my shirt and throw it down, but then the sky shut close and a strong thump sounded, and I was thrown a few meters. I lost my senses for a moment, but then my wife ran out and led me to the house. After that such noise came, as if rocks were falling or cannons were firing, the earth shook, and when I was on the ground I pressed my head down fearing rocks would smash it. When the sky opened, hot wind raced between the houses, like from cannons, which left traces in the ground like pathways, and it damaged some crops. Later we saw that many windows were shattered, and in the barn a part of an iron lock snapped. Talk about terrifying, this testimony is a very accurate representation of what one would expect to experience during an asteroid impact. Imagine the dinosaurs who faced a wrath hundreds of times greater than this one. It's no wonder they perished at an extinction level. The Tunguska event is a mere shadow of what the dinosaurs experienced. Here's another testimony, published in a newspaper on the 13th of July in 1908. On the 17th, an unusual atmospheric event was observed. At 7.43, the noise akin to a strong wind was heard. Immediately afterward, a horrific thump sounded, followed by an earthquake that literally shook the buildings as if they were being hit by a large log or a heavy rock. The first thump was followed by a second and then a third. Then the interval between the first and the third thumps was accompanied by an unusual underground rattle, similar to a railway upon which dozens of trains are traveling at the same time. Afterward, for five to six minutes, an exact likeness of artillery fire was heard, 50 to 60 salvos in short, equal intervals, which got progressively weaker. After 1.5 to two minutes, after one of the barrages, six more thumps were heard, like a cannon firing, but individual, loud, and accompanied by tremors. The sky at the first sight appeared to be clear. There was no wind and no clouds. Upon closer inspection to the north, i.e. where most of the thumps were heard, a kind of ashen cloud was seen near the horizon, which kept getting smaller and more transparent, and possibly by around 2 to 3 p.m. completely disappeared. Scientific investigation into the Tunguska event has been extensive, but they all occurred long after the event transpired, with a deepened scientific inquiry occurring roughly a decade after the event. There have been an estimated 1,000 scholarly papers published with most being in Russian. Because this occurred in 1908, there was limited instrumentation available, so scientists had to rely on eyewitness testimonies and assessments of what occurred. 
The first geological analysis took place more than a decade after the event, led by Russian mineralogist Leonard Kulik. Kulik's expeditions in the 1920s and 1930s found a zone where trees were scorched and devoid of branches, but still standing upright. This led to the conclusion that the object exploded in the air rather than hitting the Earth's surface. Subsequent research has supported the airburst theory, meaning the asteroid blew up above the surface rather than impacting it. There have been findings of microscopic silicate and magnetite spheres in the soil and in the resin of the trees in the area, suggesting an extraterrestrial origin. Chemical analysis of peat bogs from the area also revealed anomalies consistent with an impact event and spheres were found which contain high proportions of nickel relative to iron, further pointing to a probable meteorite impact. Trees more distant from the center had been partly scorched and knocked down in a direction away from the center, creating a large radial pattern of downed trees. The Tunguska event stands as one of the most mysterious and powerful natural events in recorded history. Its study has not only shed light on the potential dangers posed by near-Earth objects, but has also spurred advancements in our understanding of them. The event remains a topic of active research and debate, a puzzle that scientists continue to piece together more than a century later. Thanks for watching.